Hello there, welcome to the Hobby Farm Guys, the channel loaded with know-how and information on hobby farm topics. Today we spotlight the Indian Peafowl. We'll get the scoop on this beautiful bird so you can decide if this bird needs a home on your hobby farm or homestead. Coming right up. As the name implies, the Indian Peafowl finds its roots in Asia. More specifically, India, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. Also known as the common peafowl or blue peafowl, they began what turned out to be a global trek in the 10th century BC, apparently as gifts of seafaring Phoenicians to King Solomon and the Egyptian pharaohs. The Greeks and Roman fell in love with the bird and took it along as they traveled the Mediterranean. Imported to Britain in the 4th century AD, it became a status symbol throughout the empire and later throughout all of Western Europe into the Middle Ages. Arriving in Hawaii in 1860, Elias J. Lucky Baldwin brought three breeding pairs to his California ranch in 1879. Often seen in zoos and parks, wild feral populations now exist in many parts of the world as well. Peafowl display sexual dimorphism, where males and females look quite different. While technically males are peacocks and females are peahens, it's widely accepted to call them all peacocks regardless of sex. Peacocks weigh in around 8.5 to 13 pounds, while peahens tip the scale at only 6 to 9 pounds. While their bodies typically range in the 3 to 4 foot range, males also flaunt that iconic tail which can be 5 feet long. The male is metallic blue on the crown, the feathers of the head being short and curled. The fan-shaped crest on the head is made of feathers with bare black shafts and tipped with bluish-green webbing. A white stripe above the eye and a crescent-shaped white patch below the eye are formed by bare white skin. The sides of the head have iridescent greenish-blue feathers. The back has scaly bronze-green feathers with black and copper markings. The scapular and the wings are buff and barred in black. The primaries are chestnut and the secondaries are black. The tail is dark brown and the train, or what we think of as the tail, is made up of elongated upper tail coverts and nearly all these feathers end with an elaborate eye spot. A few of the outer feathers lack the spot and end in a crescent shaped black tip. The underside is dark glossy green shading into blackish under the tail. The thighs are buff colored. The adult peahen has a roughest brown head with a crest similar to the male, but the tips are chestnut edged with green. The upper body is brownish with pale mottling. The primary, secondary, and tail feathers are dark brown. The lower neck is metallic green and the breast feathers are dark brown glossed with green. The remaining underparts are whitish. Peafowl have sharp, powerful metatarsal spurs, also known as kicking thorns, which they use to defend themselves against predators. Their legs are strong and they have three toes facing forward and one facing backward. There are several color mutations of Indian peafowl, such as black-shouldered, oaten, white, purple, opal, pied, and midnight. The long train feathers of the male develop only after the second year of life. Fully developed trains are found in birds older than four years, and these feathers are lost and replaced during annual molting. Most Indian peafowl are friendly creatures that do well around humans, but they can lash out if they feel threatened. Due to their large size, they can cause damage when this happens, especially to children. Indian peafowl are hardy and can tolerate both hot and cold climates. However, peacocks are destructive and have a reputation for eating flowers, ripping up gardens, walking on and scratching up cars, and pooping everywhere. And if that isn't enough, they are very loud, as in louder than a rooster loud. It's somewhat telling that one term to describe a group of peacocks is an ostentation. Also, if you're thinking peacocks, check your zoning laws. Just because chickens and other poultry may be permitted in your neighborhood doesn't mean peafowl are going to be. Often this bird has its own rules established by lawmakers because of its tendency to become a nuisance to neighbors due to frequent wandering, property damage, and the noise. So while beautiful, they aren't super common due to the mess, noise, and free wandering spirit of the breed. And additionally, while they can be eaten, peacock meat isn't a hot menu item in most locations, and they only lay about 20 eggs a year. So not producing eggs or meat, they're generally kept for enjoyment. 
And if you have the space, don't mind the mess, and aren't bothered by the screeching in the middle of the night, well, peacocks just might be your thing. They'll eat bugs as well as small snakes and other critters as they roam around your yard. Keep in mind, they will also eat the flowers and garden as well. Like chickens, they'll eat a variety of foods, but will need to be wormed to maintain healthy. Given proper care, peafowl can live to be 20 to 24 years old, so expect to have them a while. That's the Indian peafowl, an absolutely stunning bird that does come with some challenges. Are you interested in peafowl? Were we too harsh in our review of this beautiful bird? Let us know below, and as always, please remember to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, happy hobby farming.